Today I'm uh, heading for a spot where you might see black grouses. It's kind of late in the season, but uh, I will give it a try. So hi and welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you haven't been here before, please consider subscribing. And, uh, you might wonder what I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm driving down to a location where. Uh, there could be some black grouses. Uh, it's late in the season, but it's on the way home, so yeah, I will do. I will give it a try at least. So yeah, join me. So I just made a quick stop on my way home. Uh, on a location where there usually are horn grips and uh, yeah let's see what we can find So I made a quick stop at a small pond, just about 300 meters long and 100 meters wide, uh, to get a close-up for the horn grebe. Uh, There's a small population staying here, and since there are pathways around the lake, they are quite used to people, so they won't be that disturbed with me clicking off my camera. Okay, so let's see what happens. Yeah, that turned out great. Uh, now it's time to head on. Uh, next stop. Yeah, well, I just uh, had an uh, elk running across this road here. So, well, my plan is anyway uh, to drive down there to this open area, and hopefully, uh, I can see some of the grouses sitting in the trees around. If I find any, any signs that they're still there, I will uh, do some recce and put up my tent and hopefully wait for the morning. Uh, but yeah, we'll see about that. So I found the location and it's, it is actually a couple of grouses out there right now. Mm, so that, that will give me a hint of where I should put up my tent tomorrow. Ah, tonight rather. I can see if I can get a shot of them right now. So it's always a tricky part to uh, fix the location for the grouses because when you go out there in the dark and put up your tent that is when you decide what kind of pictures you will get. Uh, once you wake up in the morning there's nothing you can do about it so uh, fixing the spot it's vital. So that's good, uh, they are in place, it's over 15 of them, and uh, yeah, that could be good tomorrow. 
hopefully the weather will get a little bit better right now it's almost raining and yeah it's never nice to walk out in the middle of the night when it's raining and put up a tent so now that I know where they are I've decided a point where I should uh, put up my tent and now uh, they will probably stay there until it gets dark and then they will fly up in the trees so that gives me time to uh, fix my gear, uh, have something to eat and uh, yeah, uh, prepare for this morning, next morning. Hi, good morning to you. I don't know if you can see me, but I can do this maybe. I don't know if you can see me, but uh, well, when I was uh, coming out yesterday, it started chucking down rain. So I decided to sleep a couple of hours in the car and uh, go out later. And now it's really pitch dark, as you maybe noticed. And uh, yeah, now I don't have my reference points, so I'm just winging it here. So. I just have to put up my tent uh, somewhere in the vicinity of the, the black grouses where I saw them. So hopefully I have the camera pointed the right way when the light comes here. So yeah, let's go. I'll just put up my tent and uh, yeah, I have uh, uh, holes in the tent for the camera in three directions so hopefully uh, that will do the trick. Mm. We'll have to see when it, <laughs> when the light comes up and hopefully it don't start raining again because uh, this is uh, photo blind, uh, not a waterproof tent so I yeah, will see about that. Seems like the I overshot the, the position, so the only where the only side of my tent that uh, has no hole is where it should be one. Well, we'll see later on. I cross my fingers. I hope that they get closer. Okay, I don't know how I did this. But uh, I swung the tent around about 90 degrees, like a puzzle, moving every piece inside and slowly turning the tent. Luckily, I didn't put any pegs in the corner, so yeah, we'll see about that. But now I can see the main event much better. Hopefully, I haven't disturbed them too much. I don't think they care so much about me. Let's we'll see.
it's uh, just after 5 a.m. and the activity is kind of low. It's late season. There are probably no chicks around. And if there are no chicks, why fight? He's a bachelor game. I'm just hanging around without no chicks. So it's uh, 7 a.m. and uh, they all left at the same time, just took off. So I think <laughs> this uh, play, this display is over for this morning. So I just have to pack up my gear and uh, head on home. So that ends this uh, vlog. Uh, it's always been a pleasure being out here in the nature and uh, be able to share it with you guys. So if you like this video, uh, give it a comment or thumbs up or even consider subscri subs subscribing. And I see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks, Matt.